Alrighty, so while we're waiting for part three over on JP Dokkan, I figured now would be a good time to kind of indulge in some global first summons. Now, uh, here we have the Rose Goku Black Dokkan Fest. This is a global first Dokkan Fest. Uh, I think the general consensus around this guy is his kit is all right. I see like a lot of people saying that like he sucks and whatnot, but personally, I disagree. I don't think he sucks. I just think right now was not his time. I think implementing this guy at the time that they did was just kind of really unfortunate because whenever JP has like the anniversary going on and especially on a year like this where the ninth anniversary is just on like a whole nother level in terms of how good the celebration is, how excited people are uh, and all that other fun stuff. I think this is a just not a good time to have a, uh, a global first Dokkan Fest because then the expectation is like, oh, hopefully this guy is going to be on the same level of, say, like an LR Beast Gohan or an LR Gogeta or Broly. Or even the Gammas, right? I know I listed all of them, but like, you look at the EZ8s and stuff that JP is getting, you look at the Dokkan Fest that Global, uh, JP is getting, and it's just, you see this Goku Black and you're like, well, and he needs to be on that level for me to feel like I need to summon. And I would say that's a valid opinion, but uh, I think what we'll do in this video is we'll just kind of do some summons just for fun, because like I said, uh, we're kind of waiting for the part three content that's going to be dropping later tonight. So without further ado, that's enough yapping. Let's get into the summons. Uh, now, like I said, with this Goku Black, uh, when I say that his time wasn't the his timing wasn't the best, I mean that he introduced the the super bosses category at a time when the super bosses category is nowhere near even where it needs to be, especially on global where you don't have Broly, you don't have Golden Frieza, and it's like this team it feels like it's just um, like Goku Black and Zamasu, and then you have like the in LR Zamasu, and then I mean really I could just pull up the category as we got a double screen crack by the way, so we're gonna get something uh, a Dokkan Fest at least. Uh, I didn't really talk about the banner. We will in a minute, I guess. Um, but let's see. Who do we have here? Goku Black? Give me Goku Black. First multi. Ah, Trunks. Okay, so, like I was saying, if we take a look at the Super Bosses category, let's uh, pull up our buddy Goku Black here. We go boom, and then we go over here. It's like, you look at this, uh, this account clearly is stacked, by the way. But um, you look at this team, and it's like, you have Goku Black, you have Zamasu, there's Kalifla who's easy Yang. I believe, is Kale, Kale has to be on this team if she's easy Yang, right? Kale and Kalifla, Jiren, Kefla, and it's just, there's not a lot of cohesion, and then, especially when you're missing a unit like Broly and Golden Frieza, it's really going to be problematic. So, I just think that this team has a lot of potential maybe going forward, just in, as long as they keep addressing, like, Dragon Ball Super. But if they're not going to address Dragon Ball Super, then things could uh, definitely get a little bit problematic with that team, just because there is a certain limit to how good it could be. And uh, when you look at, like, the, the, another issue is, like, when you look at things within the, the sphere of the game, it's like, you literally have no reason to run really anything but Superhero if you're trying to beat a hard event. Uh, like, the only reason you would need to is if you're playing for fun or you have to do some obscure mission, right? Because Superhero is just so far and away the best team in the game, and it's not even close. Like, it's, it, like, this, the second team is, like, three tiers below what Superheroes is, so... Uh, a bit unfortunate, but we shall see. Uh, I believe right now we have two copies of Goku Black on this account, so we'll maybe aim to get... I don't think we're gonna go for three in this video. It just depends on how long it takes us to pull our first one, right? If we're like 15 minutes in and we still don't have a copy, then we'll just go until we get one. But if we get one early, maybe we'll uh, we'll move along and see what we can do, so... Yeah. I think if you're a global player, this, this, this banner is okay, but my issue is, stems from the fact that there's non Dokkan Fest featured units on this banner, and that's really annoying because, like, you could get, like, a Krillin in an 18 or an Awadi Dao or something like that, and your chances of it not being a Dokkan Festival is it, it amplified, like, by, like, triple, right? Because usually with these banners, um, the featured unit is just the banner unit, right? That is not the Dokkan Fest, but it's, like, right here. So let's just say we do get, like, a fusion, right? We have the chance of getting this unit, this unit, this unit, excuse me, this unit, this unit, that unit. And that's it, right? So so what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six Dokkan Fests, right? So that's cool. But then we have you, who's featured, not a Dokkan Fest. You're featured, not a Dokkan Fest. You're featured, not a Dokkan Fest. You're featured, not a Dokkan Fest. So four non-featured Dokkan Fests on a, how many is this? Uh, 12? One, no, it's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 10. So a 10 featured unit banner with six non dokkan fest is not great that's like a legendary summon with like some glitter on top of it right uh just with some dokkan festival lrs so that, that that is a bit annoying 
But I do think like if you're somebody that wants to run super bosses or you're somebody that wants to is missing a copy of like AG or the AGL Vegito Blue, this isn't the worst time to get them as you're going to have to probably wait until Annie for another chance to pull at them. So I would say if you're really desperate for them, go ahead and summon a little bit, but don't don't waste all your stones, right? Because there's a good chance that Sand Day is better than this. There's a good chance that Golden Week is better than this. And then obviously the anniversary is going to be way better than this. And then right after Annie, we're going to be transitioning into Worldwide as well as the Sync more than likely because they said the Sync timeline is uh, for the summer of 2024. So we are only a few months out. And as we've been doing this, these summons aside from Trunks have been absolutely terrible. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Ink Golden Frieza. There we go. The, the Ink Golden Frieza. He's going to be really good on Super Bosses, guys, I promise. <laughs> All right, Vegeta and Whis. Do you want to fuse for me, buddy? No. Yeah, not good. <laughs> this might be a get one copy and be done video, ladies and gentlemen. That is the way this is trending. Unless this is a double screen crack, maybe? No. All right. Next. <laughs> What do you have for me in here? Another Golden Frieza? No. Tech Bardock. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Freebie luck. Boom. Damn it. Honestly, I didn't even notice who flew in right there. I like kind of locked. I, I zoned out for like half a second and I didn't even know who. I don't I don't know who went in. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> who flew in? There we go. I noticed my little overlay text was peeking into the bottom of the screen, and I was kind of just looking at that. But yeah, in Rebrian, thank you. All right, you know who flew in? Absolutely no one. Absolutely nobody. All right, I'm not gonna be calling anything in this video unless we do like an intentional call in, right? We're not gonna just be saying Goku Black Rift every multi. Not gonna be saying Zeno every combo. Nay, 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 nay. Not today. Although, I would like something eventually, game. Absolutely horrendous summons for Dokkan Festival Goku Black. There we go. Physical Realm of Gods unit. The wrong one, though. <laughs> Just Trunks, okay. If this was uh, worldwide, I'd be excited about that, but... Not on these banners. I wish that they would, um... Do the limited summon animations more often. Like, right here, why not just do it? Like, you already have the assets for it, just throw them in. It's a future Trunk Saga themed summon, just look, do it. Like, look what the Annie's doing right now. We have Superhero, we have new Broly summon animations, like, just do it. You, you literally already did the work, just implement them, right? Oh my goodness, hello. When was the last time we got a Dokkan Fest? Global is, uh, not treating me too nice. It's like they know I, I try to come over to, to Global just to do a video, and they're like, yeah, we're not going to let this video be good. What? <laughs> Nobody flew in. Okay, well, I guess Global is being nice. You can clip that one. <laughs> what? All right, go Ted and Trunks. So, this, unless this is a Zeno, this is going to be a good example of what I'm talking about, where there's too many Dokkan Fests on a banner, or there's not Dokkan Fests on a banner. So it's like, I could pull down right here, and this could be a Zeno, but I, he could also say a Wadida, and there's a four, one out of four chance that it's just a, um, it's just a not even a Dokkan Fest feature. So watch this. Watch this be STR Mai or Physical Gawasu. Okay, if it's a double screen crack, I lied. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is at least a Dokkan Fest. I didn't mean to lie, but I did. So this is not going to be the case study in action right here. Alright, you're showing up eventually. Okay, that's a good pull. I mean... And, okay, so, and I was right. Kawasu did sneak his way in here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you thought you were going to catch me lacking, Kawasu. Uh-uh. I'm familiar with your tricks. You're not familiar with your uh, your students' tricks, though, because Zamasu made you look foolish, my boy. All right, God animation? No. Okay. If you guys are watching up to this point, how many of these multis would you have skipped? Let me know down below. Based on the animation alone. Okay, this feels like a fusion. It's not. Okay. 
Well, we know we're getting a Dokkan Fest guaranteed, so my money is on in future Gohan. Okay, got animations, cool. But we already know this was a good one just because the trunk's carrying my. Fake out first one, Goku Black. Oh, okay. All right, there's one copy. Uh, we'll go for a little bit longer. Nice, unless we get like three and one multi right here. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Give me two, though. All right. Oh, okay. That's a banger multi. There you go. That's what we're talking about right there. Ooh, back to back? Zeno. Back. <laughs> Okay, this one, this one 100% could just be like Goasu or Zamasu. Alright, no god animation, that's good. You don't want god animation if you get Goten and Trunks and like an Awadida, right? A combo into not Awadida is not good. Because that usually means three unfeatured. Usually. And obviously, uh, future Gohan isn't exactly, uh... He's really good, but he's not a game changer or anything like that. Obviously not a game changer. God animation? Okay. I guess like you would want a god animation in a scenario like that where it's not a combo because then it just I guess it does give you a chance because you're guaranteed like three SSRs. But usually that combos that uh the odds are pretty low. Ah, uh, come on, boo. You had to like <laughs> Okay. That's like the famous case of like two people that you want to see but just in different variations, right? It's like someone else flies in with Krillin, you're like, damn. But it's like the same thing with Boo, where it's like, oh, where's Hercule, right? Or Mr. Saint, whatever you want to call him, right? Oh, there's Hercule. Let's see? He just, should, okay, he is featured. That Trunks, I'm pretty sure, so. Like, <laughs> that's an example of a multi you'll get right from this, right? Like, it was nothing, and then usually that would just be like an unfeatured pull. But uh, in this case, no. There's some validity to it because of the, uh, yeah, like, we. I, I know he's featured, so. All right, we'll go for a few more minutes and we'll call it there because these have uh, these have been all right. Nothing to write home about, but also not like the worst summons I've ever seen. Save the rest of these stones for a stream. Baby. All right, Rift. I, I, I can't like what doesn't make sense to me is that Goku, Gohan and Goten is not a combo. Like, <laughs> I, I don't understand that one bit because I was I was about to make an example, but most of the combos make sense, right? But um, some of them, I just don't know. It's like Krillin and 18 is a combo and I know why, but it's just funny to me that that is a combo and because like, they're married. But like the whole Sun family, who's like the most important thing in the whole the whole show or series is like not a combo, right? Like, maybe because it's not, like, their moment is non-canon, I guess, would be, like, the cope. I, I don't know. That's just, I'm talking out of my ass with that one. Tora. Alright, we'll do two more rotations and we'll call it a video. Not great. Yep, 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 yep. I get it. Raccoon and Goldo. Alright, Vegeta. I'm gonna need you to fuse for me. We haven't fused once in this video, I don't think, by the way. I've been summoning for 15 minutes. We haven't summoned once. Or we haven't fused once. Double screen crack, perhaps? No. Yeah, that's incredible. We literally haven't fused one time, and I've been summoning for 15 minutes. We haven't fused once. <laughs> you can see the game is really treating me well right here. Alright, surely. Wow! Are we gonna go a whole video without fusing? How do I title this? Insane Global First Summons! Insanely ass. <laughs> yeah, Tech Khalifa, you're easy Yang soon, so that's cool. Do we just go until we get a Dokkan Fest? 
I think my answer, I think my, uh, my prayers might have been answered. We'll see, though. Alright, I don't know, that's probably a bad thing. Because they didn't say a wadi-da, so... I think this is just a spam through. Yeah, three unfeatured. Yeah, at this point, let's just go until we, uh, until we get something from the, uh, a Dokkan Fest. Alright. Thank you, game. All right, 17 and 18, the Wadi Da, and whatever else. Not a god. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if he, if he says a Wadi Da. All right, give me a Doka Fest. All right, cool. Bet, 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 bet. Well, that's a good multi if you have Pet the Park at Goku. Okay, uh, we'll finish the rotation and we'll call it there. But at least we got a Dokkan Fest, so the video isn't going to go for, like, an extremely extended period of time, right? Zeno? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that's the Rainbow Star on Goku Black. Wow, alright. That's, uh, that usually doesn't happen. Uh, calling a Zeno like that. Okay. Uh, there you go. This video, uh... A good ending, we'll call it. <laughs> All right, all right. So there we go. Uh, Goku Black is all done. There you go. Read him and weep. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy. Remember, don't go too crazy on this banner. I promise you'll regret it by the time anniversary comes around. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you in the next one.